Hello again, it's now time for Mission. And Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. She defied all odds and contested a man and one to represent the low-cost electoral area in Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly. Philomena Beidou, the only female assembly member, has suggested women should ignore the insults and intimidation and vie for positions to lead society. White Nana Amphil's report. If you're a young woman and you enter into these kind of, you know, local politics or any other form of politics like you know they would call you names the first one that really really gets into people is you don't know from anywhere they were just calling you prostitute this is one of the many reasons women will shy away from contesting for local level elections but flumina bedu defied all odds and contested to represent Ola low-cost electoral area in the Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly. The Assembly has only one elected woman Assembly member. Many women contested and lost, but she believed in her ability. We are very versatile and when it comes to managerial skills, it is we the women we are very, very skillful when it comes to managing our homes and whatever opportunity given us. So I always urge women, a lot of women, be, give a service that is above yourself to your community. Initially, she was edgy. She didn't want to contest. Phil had all kinds of ideas about contesting. I've been in this area, this is my 11th year in this area. So I realized all the elections was won by men. So at a point I even thought it was just for men. And I remember the, a year before I, uh, the election year before I contested, a woman contested and she didn't win. So the next one, she's like, How me mean Kobi mo me ferry ye? I'm like, no. If you won't go, I will go. Then she said, Oh, I'm to feel Kobaya Medo. So I contested. And I told myself I will win. Because women outnumber men. Then she took the decision and her door to door campaign helped. The, the, the kids loved me a lot. So it started from the kids. I realized you no, know, I have the kids to, you know, convince their parents. So I just did my campaign. I get to every woman, hey, uncle, and the mother is smiling already. So no matter what you say, you've, you've, you've gotten them. She feels women do not get enough support, and she blames both local and central governments. We all say, oh, we are encouraging women. We want to encourage women. But it's just a math talk. It is not a practical thing. I've been there. I haven't seen any motivation. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing to encourage me as a woman to even, you know. Philomena wants women to take the lead in managing society. She had a lot of support from men, though women also helped her to lead the people of Ola low-cost electoral area. Phil is moving higher and is encouraging women to aspire to higher heights. I would want to you know, help any other person who is interested, especially a woman. So I drew it to them. So I'm waiting. Some showed some interest. Later I saw them and they're like, Mommy Pharaoh. And I'm like, I will meet you and then we would talk. With these things, you have to motivate yourself first. Be strong in your room first. Speak to yourself first before you get out there. So that by the time you are out there, you are fully prepared, both physical and spiritually. The Cape Coast Metro Assembly says it is looking up to when it will have more women representation in the Assembly. In the, trying to balance the situation, we in the process of adding on uh, to the members by way of uh, uh, providing uh, government appointees, we had to make sure we have a number of women to balance the situation. So if you come to Cape Coast Metro Assembly, you realize that uh, most of the appointees 
I mean, the government appointees are females. The Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly has 67 members. Women form an insignificant number, and this is affecting the discussion of women issues. This, the Assembly wants to change. Bright Nananfo, TV3, Cape Coast. Let's go to the Western.